All right, welcome back. HRFs is up and we can get back to work and I have to go find some links for this client. Uh, while you were gone, and hopefully you were doing your own homework, I uh, found a bunch more keywords that I could use to uh, find competitors of my clients. So I fleshed this out a bit and sometimes if it's like a really big client or we're having a hard time finding a bunch of low-hanging fruit to get link placements from, we'll really flesh this out and just keep building it and building it and building it so we can find more and more competitors. Uh, I did find more competitors and uh, we're going to uh, start researching them on Ahrefs now. And there's always going to be competitors. The better the competitor you have, the the better education they'll give you on where to find the best links. So let's uh, let's just start right at the top, and I'm going to show you what I do. Take it straight to Hrefs. And some people call it Ahrefs. I used to call it that because I, I call it Hrefs. Call it what you want. Now, and once you get inside Hrefs, you're going to see. Uh, wow, this is a pretty good site. It has. I don't really look at the uh, the these metrics hardly at all. We're looking for backlinks, and they have a lot of them. And uh, they they're getting new backlinks. They're getting good flow. They're ranking for a bunch of keywords. So this is definitely somebody that has their A game going on. It's it's a larger company. When I first found them uh, on the last video, I I had never heard of them. But as I did a little more research, I found out they are pretty big. All right, so I'm going to, there's a couple of things you could do. Number one, we're, we want to look at their backlinks. So you could look at backlinks. But the problem is they have over 18,000 backlinks. And, uh, and uh, the mistake that people make sometimes using HRFs, if, the, if they're working with a big list, they work individually off each of these backlinks and they will check one and they'll check another. What I like to do on sites like this, just go to the referring domains. Now see how much, <laughs> see how much better this is. And, uh, and it's sorted by the domain rating, which is HRS metric. Uh, whether it's anything that you should be looking at when building links is debatable. But it is uh, as close as we can get to page rank, and this, uh, so that's what we have to work with. Obviously, the higher the number, the more link equity will come from the link. And as I go through and I look at this site, I'm going to look at a few things. First of all, Eric Ward was just, he was a detective. And when he would look at a backlink profile, it was like, he goes, every website has a story to tell, and the story that tells it best, and the medium that tells it best, is the backlink profile. And that's the story that Google reads about any particular business. So as I'm inside Ahrefs, I'm looking, uh, where are they getting their links from? Well, uh, YouTube, it looks like they have four backlinks on YouTube, so who knows what they're doing there. That's easily, I could, I could replicate that, and it wouldn't make any difference whatsoever in the rankings, because if it's easy to replicate, it's not going to have that much uh, significance. Uh, the, he has a wiki, the, they have a Wikipedia link. They do a lot of uh, Bitly links, which means they're doing redirects. And I see that they're using the Google redirect. They got a link from, they have seven links from the Better Business Bureau. So is my client a member of the Better Business Bureau? I don't know. I do not know. But that looks like a pretty good source of link. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to possible placements and I'm going to put that site there. Whoops. No, that's not the site I was going to put there. I was going to put the Better Business Bureau there. One second. I have this giant microphone in my face. <laughs> and, it's, and it's over my... Uh, over my keypad so as I'm having a hard time uh, doing this all right but we'll figure it out I will soldier on okay so can I get a link from the Better Business Bureau maybe feed burner it gets a lot of juice does my client have enough links uh, to get in the, the feed burner we'll have to see Eventbrite it looks like they did an event medium.com constant contact 
I'm guessing it was probably constant contact uh, gave them uh, they gave him a testimonial Forbes well we know how to get Forbes links right we you pay for them Huffington Post those links are just you pay for both of these that's no big deal same you can get in the Wall Street Journal same way Bloomberg USA Today now some of this is probably legit but I'm looking uh, they probably have a they probably have one person working, uh, Lindio has one person working doing PR for them. So I wouldn't be surprised to see that they do have links coming from these journals. Though the Forbes, don't say they have so many more Forbes and Huffington Post, it's just because it's, they're, they're easier to buy. All right, and the same goes with, uh, well, PR Newswire is just, is just straight press releases. All right, so I'm looking to see, is there, I'm looking at their story, but I'm also looking for low-hanging fruit. Well, that looks like low-hanging fruit. And all I'm going to do is open it up. Now, AVO or is, is something for attorneys, Stack Exchange. I haven't heard of this site. bunch of news wire. Yeah, they like their press releases. So I'm looking for sites that do not look familiar to me. And that, because I, I, I know I could go, like, how'd they get a link from Copy Blogger? We'll have to look into that. All right, so now I'm going to go through. Then what I like to do is I scroll the screen up to where I just left off. Then when I check these sites out, I'll come back and start working down the list. It's, uh, it's just the way it works. Yeah, not interested. This might be a good link, but... Striking link. It's like a web design company. So, do I think we can get a link from them? I'd have to, uh, I'm not going to put them in placements. Form builder. Now, see, is there a relationship between business loans and form builders? Not usually. So, why? Why I don't know why this person is getting these types of links, and I'll have to look into it, I guess. But right now I'm looking for low hanging fruit. I'm not I'm not playing link detective. All right, so Smashwords is this a site that uh, would link to uh, small business loans? Again, I've not seen an angle come into my mind. It looks like it's just it's about books. So what is the angle? Digital journal. magazine site the Wall Street Journal I like to see how they got their links I'm not gonna do it though we're, we're we're looking for low-hanging fruit so we'll keep on going down the list news news business insider Majestic. Let's check there. How did they get a link from Majestic? image link then I can go on page source sorry search Lindio there it is it's 
interesting. Is this a link I think we could get? No. How are they getting this link? Interesting. All right. Let's get back to these other sites. Sorry. For the one I let. See, well, that's what happens when you're doing this. So how are they getting the link from there? And you get in these bunny trails. Right now, we're looking for low-hanging fruit. All right. So how did he get a link from... From couch surfing. He's got five links. Loan calculators. Uh oh. That's not a good sign. It's an unverified profile. Where's the link? Black Hat Alert! Imagine that big company using Black Hat. Yeah, these are uh, these are just dummy links because you can look in there. So, so sometimes you can just save yourself the trouble and just look to see what instances were being used. But okay, in this instance, look at this. It's a user site is where the link come is. A user's account is where it's coming from. Then it's in another user's account. Even though I know what Jane Reed. And then there's another user account. So all these links are just coming. They're 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 garbage. So that's not link opportunity. That's that's dead fruit. That's not low hanging fruit. So I'm going to continue on, and I can look at the news sites too, just to get an idea what they're doing. Oh, it looks like they're getting legit news. I, 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 it doesn't surprise me that they have a PR person working for them. I mean, PR is cheap. And uh, the fact that they're getting a lot of those news links is they have a PR person just pitching the reporters and building relationships up with them. All right, so continue on. What's this good search? Coupons. They're giving coupons. They're giving coupons. How does somebody give coupons for business loans? It's odd. Let's check. Did I, did I open this one? All right. Where's Lindio? How do you give a coupon for a loan? Come on, you're on here. All right, go to the code, view page source. Well, they're not on here now. Okay. So sometimes HRS will give you some faults. Well, let's find another one. But if they're getting coupons on there on a regular basis. I want a coupon link. If I can figure out how does a loan company give link, give coupons? Denial, direct TV, boohoo. Again. It's interesting. All right, well, I'm going to give up the idea of the coupon site for a business loan site. All right, so how'd they get on the business.com? They have one link. They got into an article. So my, my chance is, as, as the link builder, I said, well, let me see who that, let me see who that writer is. Let me find this writer. Okay, hi Bruce. Expect to see me or hear from me, Bruce. And I'll go over to uh, possible placements. And uh, I know that he's a writer 
and that uh, he wrote uh, for uh, my competitor. I linked to him at least. So maybe he's for hire. Maybe he just likes the industry. Maybe he's a sucker for a good pitch. But if my client got a link from him, uh, I'm going to try too. All right, let's. I'm going to close these. I've got to find more fruit. I could pause it. Why don't I do that and find some more and uh, and just move on? All right, so I just want to find some other things that you would look for. How did they get into 99 Designs? You can look at the metrics. They get a lot of organic traffic. It's a legit site. Uh, what links did they get? Article provided by Lindio. Hmm. Well, it looks like they allow uh, guest posts from our industry. Is this something I want to uh, pursue? Yeah, why not? Is the traffic aligned with my clients? Well, I'll have to look at that. But right now, I'm not making any judgments. All I'm doing is going through and finding possible placements. E-commerce site? Well, that would seem like it would be a, a good link. Marshall Kaplan. Now my chances of getting a link here are going to be tougher because Blindio is a player in the industry. And this was obviously came from, uh, from Marsha doing her homework and finding six great funding resources for her readers. And that's how they got included on the list. Am I going to be, is that low hanging fruit? No. You got to climb for that fruit. All right, what's this? How to improve your Franco scooter. Logo. I think you have a lie. Use hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer and get out of here. Super user. Good domain rating. I work for Lindio. Look at another user account. I'm not going to look at that. Can I go replicate that link? Yeah, I can do it right now. That's not the way you uh, you do competitor link building. You get in the real easy ones and start setting up like uh, just profile links. That's all those are. Uh, Jeff, how'd they get on the Jeff site? Jeff gets good traffic. Let's see how they got a link from Jeff. All right, it looks like it was another editorial piece. So because Lindio could be found in the search engines, they get a lot of links from bloggers finding them and then they get included in like little roundups. All right, American Banker. Not too bad. How'd they get the link? Looks like this that's a podcast this time, so they do podcasts. My client, well, I'll have to talk to my client whether or not he'll do podcasts. I don't know with him. All right, so uh, continue on. What's this? I work for Lindio. Look at that. That's another profile account. I work for Lindio. I work the same thing. Now this, what is this? They got a feature story. Hmm. Now is this low hanging fruit? 
It might be. I'm going to add them. Then I'm going to head on over and find some more. All right, we're at the 20 minute mark. Uh, at this point, what you're doing is going through and look for possibilities uh, that, hey, I could easily earn a link like that. And you're going to avoid anything that you see in the, in the, let me see. You're going to avoid anything that you run into that is like a user account, a profile link. It's just not worth it. So it looks like that they're doing something pretty big here too in this site. So how are they getting such a following here? It's a lead form. They got a link in a lead form. This is probably their lead form. Yeah. So I, I can you no, you can't. I wouldn't want that link. All right, so I'm gonna pause the video. What I'll do, no, I'll just keep going, but I'm just gonna bring another competitor in because I'm getting sick of looking at their links. That's a problem with a, a competitor that has a lot of links and they've been around a while. They probably tried a lot of link building stuff and uh, it's really gets to the point where they, you have to go through a lot of mess to, uh, to find their links. All right, so I'm gonna go to the next one. This says only has 327 referring domains. WordPress, Bitly, same thing as we've seen before, Bing, Medium, Constant Contact, Forbes, PR Newswire, Business Wire, Hootsuite, PR Web, CodePen. How do you get so many links on CodePen? look into that Tribune digital D journal how'd they get on digital journal nine links press release so I'm seeing a lot of press release opportunities in this industry from the people who are ranking so definitely we're going to be doing press releases for this client because everybody else is and you know what if you're in an industry where if a lot of people are spamming and they're doing stuff like this it, it, sometimes it works because it's if it's an industry that's hard to build links in google fills in the gap with the spam and they uh so there's some industries that you could still rank with 100 percent spam links and i'm not saying that this small business loan industry is that way but it's it's looking kind of dirty it's looking kind of dirty on the seo side and then uh, they went over to the pr side but i'm still gonna i'm still looking i'm not making any judgments it's like i'm i'm picking berries here i'm just going from one bush to the next looking for ripe berries Another press release. This is spam. Ninety nine designs too. How'd they get a link from ninety nine designs? Ah. How are you getting a link to your site?
testimonial? There must be a testimonial somewhere. phantom link and this is what you run into too you're like wow how'd they get the link there who knows maybe it was a dead link all right continuing on ah, infographic tech that co likes uh lending in infographics at least they did once except where's the infographic not there anymore but they did it once so will they do it again I don't know it's a pretty big site I don't think it's low-hanging fruit I'm gonna move on simple dollar what's this All right, now this may be easy to replicate. And I am going because, I don't know why, but I have a feeling that, that this wasn't an earned link. So I'm gonna pop that over in the uh, possible placements. And I'm going to, uh, let me grab another domain. I'm gonna have to go through all these today, though. I won't make you sit with sit with me through all of it. So, okay, all I'm going through is one competitor at a time, going through all their links and looking for low hanging fruit. And what's a low hanging fruit? It could be a guest post. It could be like a lot of contributor posts. That means you know that they're paying for it. It could be resource pages, but who knows? I hopefully we'll find something like that in, in these. This site has a lot of uh, links. Notice the same site's always on top. New York Times, Theme Forest. That's one thing. A lot of these, uh, so far, they've all had links with like themes and logo design all right it looked like it was a comment that's not there what's this one behance Thank you. Medium, Forbes, Wikipedia, Huffington Post, SlideShare, Wikipedia, Weebly. Weebly is a Web 2.0 site. WSJ, Dribble. What's Dribble? Another designer site. So. Are they putting bids in to get work done on their site and it's giving them a link as they said refer to our site it'll be for this site and then it's public and then it gets crawled that's probably all that it is now that i'm thinking about it because a lot of these reverse auction design sites what they do is they'll, somebody will say I, I here's five I, i'll pay five hundred dollars for a logo to this site and please give me your, uh, I would like it to include this and this and this. And if they don't get enough bids from their internal uh, designers working for them and, and that they work with, they go out and they find others. And a lot of times they'll make their searches uh, indexable. So what I'm thinking is that they put projects in and then their projects get indexed. 
and then uh, then uh, the project's over, then the links are gone. So that's why we're seeing a lot of these designer sites showing up, a lot of news sites too. Kickstarter, did they do a Kickstarter campaign? HP, what did they do with Kickstarter? Look, 31 links with Kickstarter. Please tell me it's not. Is it blog comments? Yeah. Well, we don't want to do that. Biz journals. Another press release. CNBC, you know that's a press release. How do rich people stay in shape? Who cares? All right, so where is the link? Well, either way, it's not gonna happen. It's not low hanging fruit. Salesforce, how'd they get a link from Salesforce? Well, this is probably earned. This is an editorial. A little harder to get. Not really what we're looking for. Tripod. Come on. Let's find some low hanging fruit. You know what? This site looks ugly, but I like it. Boom. Well, let's go back to it. Why do, why do I like it? Well, for one, it's ugly. Ugly sites usually mean that somebody cares about it, and it's all about the resources. And you can see the information is all about the author's written a book, and he's and this is his opportunity to sell it on Tripod. But he uh, and he talks about the books and, and the premise of the book, and then he shares other. So now he's sharing resources, and that's and he has other resources where his own that you can reach. But then he also puts these resources in here, and uh, so he's just trying to compile and give people as much information as he possibly can that he thinks is going to help his uh, them and what they need to do. And getting business loans is really important So uh, to, to some businesses. So this is, uh, there's a lot of links on here, but I'm thinking that if we can reach Sam, we can earn a link from, from Sam. So I'm going to, uh, I, that's why I put him on the list. All right, let's move on. How'd he get on strike? That's not low hanging fruit. That's earned. Market Watch. What's going on with Market Watch? 
they got a story. Hi, Philip. Yeah, this looks like a really nice, uh, really nice piece they got here. Philip did a good job with it. He's a columnist. Some columnists are on the payroll of uh, SEO companies. I won't lie about that. I'm not saying he is. Does that look pretty good? All right, Venture Beat. Twenty-four links from them. It would make sense that. So are they getting quoted? So some big competitors in this industry. The more research I'm doing, it's like, do we need just to go straight PR? Because that's what these companies are doing. Here's the low hanging fruit. You can get into here, I guess. Set up an account like they did. That's really low hanging fruit. That's like fruit on the ground, though. Angel Fire. And we're getting 36 minutes into this. All right, I'm going to continue this. This has gone on too long. I am going to uh, find another uh, domain that will find more low-hanging fruit so I can show you some other things to look for. But here's the process. What you start doing in Ahrefs and going through and finding out and, and telling, the, reading the story that your backlink profile of your competitors and then from there looking for the low-hanging fruit. And you see in just that little bit of time, uh, 37 minutes, I found three, four, five, six, probably four of these are decent, three maybe. Uh, so one every 10 minutes, but that's because I'm talking and I'm trying to record and I got a big microphone in my face. You, uh, you'll be much faster. I am when I'm not doing, when I'm not recording. So uh, get this list as big as you can and don't overthink what you put in here. Like I was doing some overthinking just because I didn't want to get columnists into the mix because columnists sometimes you think you could get to them but you can't or they're not working for the place anymore and then it's really hard to earn a link from somebody that's not there anymore so i'm hesitant with columnists you might want to target columnists uh, but I, I i'm looking for something even lower hanging fruit than columnists so that's uh that's going to be up to you but i'm going to see you in the next video where i'll do some more uh digging through uh, competitor backlinks or in hrefs so uh I'll see you there.